In this video, I'll be focusing on creating the data structure to hold data in ArcGIS Online. So basically, the process of creating a geodatabase and then adding layers to that geodatabase in ArcGIS Pro or QGIS or whatever. So um, remember that whatever you do before doing this type of work, it's a good idea to have created a um, digital representation model. So decide which layers you want and uh, which attributes they have and so on. So in this case, I have two elements I want to do. I want to do a natural element and I want to do some recycling stations. Uh, and in addition to which layers you want, you probably want to say which type of geometry are they. Um, the corner system you can't specify in um, ArcGIS Online. There's only one. and um, But you can always download the data and change it. And which attributes you want to create um, for each of those layers. And of course, you might have created a conceptual model in order to arrive at this digital model. But at least you should have thought about which attributes, what you want to do, what what is the important things you want to work with before starting in uh, ArcGIS Online. In ArcGIS Online, it's a really good idea to create a folder. I created one called Test2. And down there, I've already got some data. And yeah, that happens. Um, and you might want to delete some data if you made a mistake. So in order to delete the, some data, you can select it. And once it's selected, there are different you can move it to a different folder, you can change the sharing of it, and you can delete it. So I'll just delete this one, and then we'll create a new one. So we are, have a nice empty folder here, and we can, um, if we are in this folder already, it will default to this folder later, so that's nice. So if we go and say create, and here, this is what we call a feature layer. So we want to create a feature layer. There are some templates for different works of life. I want to make one from basic. So I go down on this one, which is called a build a layer. And I want to register points. So I choose points. And create. So we want to create this layer here point. It might be tempting to activate this one uh, capture GPS. This is um, fine if you need really precision GPS data. You know, want to know, the, and you want to know what is the position of it. Um, although, if you do activate this one, it's going to be really difficult to enter data without using the GPS. So, I recommend leaving that one if you don't absolutely need the information about how precise your GPS point was. So, leave that one out. Say next. Then you need to uh, set your extent of your uh, project. So um, you can uh, zoom into the area that you want to work with. So I want to just work with the campus. So uh, I think that's the campus there. Um, you don't have to make it so small, but it just makes it easier later. Uh, on the, your when you do the collection that it is a windows air this can also be changed at a later point so you zoom into the air you say next so now as i said okay data collection will happen within this air i'll have to give it a title i might as well pinch it from over here so uh this was my title it want, want some tags as i mentioned earlier tags are important here because we have lots of data, so be able to find it. Um, so um, I could, of course, tag it with recycling station. I could tag it with um, a test to indicate it's a test. I could tag it with um, course, whatever. Um, and I need a summary of what the data is. I have written that also in my digital representation model, so I might as well just include that. Um, and then finally, it's really important that you give it some categories. 
um, they are they these categories are one I've set up so for help me with my housekeeping and now and um, here the categories are if you are just doing a test to see does this work you can say to that I have uh, if we have research projects if they are course exercises so you might set yours to course exercise or if it's a student project a mid semester it is in so uh, this is just a test so I tag it as a I set the category as test you can have more than one category. And then it says, do I want to save it in my test 2? And that's because I was in test 2 when I created it. Otherwise, you can here choose one of your other folders. And remember, putting things in folders makes life much easier. So now you can say done. And basically, you have um, created your first feature layer. What you want to do after that is you want to add the attributes and sharing and all of those other things which um, you will automatically be guided into um, here so um, so this is basically the next step that i will um, come back to in a later video first of all i just want to go into my content so I leave this one and i can now see that in my I have this one and if I want to get back to where I could do all of these sharing things I can just click the layer here and this brings me up this window where I can set all of my additional information so in the following videos I'll be covering the process of setting up all of these other things